in today's video we're gonna jump and dive deep into the ocean of unconscious human morality and then emerge out of it as more conscious human beings that was dramatic but i hope that intro got your attention because i know that your attention span is less than your erection span that was a joke but i hope i got your attention and that's all what matters because i'm really excited to make this video because in today's video i'm going to talk about my favorite subjects and that are pp no. actually i'm going to talk about philosophy and then i'm going to talk a little bit about psychology and how our psychology influences our philosophy and at the end of the video i'm going to talk about technology and how all the discussion that we just had is relevant in today's technology a lot and in order for us to do that, we need to play some puzzles with each other. And it's also possible that you will have a transition from a person who believes that five person should be saved on the expense of one person to a person who believes that the whole village should be burned down to its ashes just for the sake of one person. But I don't know for sure. So we will find it out. My name is Zishan Ali and you are on Diary of a Brown Boy. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to give you a situation and I will ask you what will you do in that situation. And after you answer, I will give you another situation, but I will change some of the things in that one to force you to change your perspective about morality. But if your perspective changes on its own, then I will explain it to you psychologically that why it was a case, that why we would do something different in the second situation. But if your answer would stay the same, then I will give you a third situation. No, God, please, no, no which will force you a lot to change your answer. And I hope that you will change your answer then. And after that, I will tell you what will I do, what's my philosophy of morality. And after that, we will talk about how all of those things are related to technology. So a puzzle to test your morality. So let's imagine that you had a fight with your parents and now you're going out of your home and in your way you see that there are five construction workers who are working on a railway track and at the same time you notice that there's a trolley coming towards them. The trolley can kill those five construction workers and they don't know. You notice that there's a switch in the corner and if you press the switch the trolley will divert into the second railway track and those five construction workers wouldn't die but here's a catch. On the second track there is a one construction worker who is working and he also don't know about the trolley. So here's a choice that you have. You press a switch and save five people and let one person die or you wouldn't press the switch and let five people die. What will you do? Will you press the switch or we wouldn't? So pause the video, think, and then play the video. So if your answer is no, that you will not press the switch, then I will do the same thing, which is that I will not press the switch. But for people who will press a button, don't worry, you are not alone. Actually, majority of the people said the same thing, that they would press a switch. How many would turn the trolley car onto the side track? Raise your hands. How many wouldn't? A handful of people would. The vast majority would turn. So I asked some of the friends the same question and I looked online, what is the explanation for people who would press a switch? And they said that they will do that because they want to save five people. But saving five people is a better thing to do. So if that's your philosophy, then philosophy 101, let me tell you which philosophy you follow. You will be considered a utilitarianist. I really suck at pronouncing these words. So basically utilitarianist or whatever. These people believe that the best action is the one which maximizes the happiness of most of the people. Or you could also be called a consequentialist and for those people the best action is the one which has the best consequences as a whole so you would be called either utilitarianist or consequentialist but anyway let's see how consistent you are and now i'm going to give you another situation case number two this time there is not a second railway track but there's a bridge on the top of first railway track and you see that there's a trolley coming there and you are on the bridge and there is a tall fat man standing beside you who looks like your axe what you could do right now is that you could push the person off the bridge and would fall down on the railway track and as a result the trolley will stop but the person will die because he's not a superman so this time the choices that you have is that either you let five people die or you push a person off the bridge and stop the trolley with that what will you do so if your answer is no then don't you worry again you're not alone actually majority of the people changed their decision on the second scenario and I'm here's really what sure they explain the it just still seems kind of different the act of actually pushing someone over onto the tracks and killing him 
you are actually killing him yourself. And tell me if that was your explanation as well. What the people felt is that in the second case that they are directly involved into the killing of someone and that is why they feel wrong and that's why they will not do that. It's kind of the same but the difference is that in the first situation you need to push the button and now you need to push a fat pan. And that is where this trolley problem becomes really interesting when it comes to psychology. So now time to talk a little bit about psychology. Why is it the way it is? So there has been a lot of studies on people and what the researchers found out is that men are more likely to push a person than a female and there isn't one more interesting thing and that is if a person will see or listen to a comedy show then that person is also more likely to push the person and here's an interesting thing as well people as a whole they are less likely to push a lady of the bridge than a man and majority of the psycho people said that they will actually push the person time to test the kids which way should the train go um, show me Okay. Which way should the train go? This way. Uh -oh. I mean, kid. A kid you're a special case like but anyway like some people actually did like brain scans of the people like what actually happened inside the brain when they are given these scenarios to solve and what they found out is that there are two parts of the brain that get activated when these scenarios are given the first part of the brain is the one that deals with emotional stuff and the second part of the brain is the one that deals with rational cognitive processing thoughts like the rational part of the brain and especially in the second scenario the emotional one becomes much more stronger and that was surprising for me but i think what changes our perspective is that the more we get involved into the act the more we feel responsible for it so for example in the first case we just needed to push the button it will have the same consequences and in the second case we need to push the person and because pushing the person is more direct than pressing the button it gives a perception to your brain that in the first case it's a collateral damage and in the second one it's actually a murder because you're much more involved in that and i think that because of that perspective our philosophy of morality becomes inconsistent we change in the second scenario but, but for the people who would push the person off the bridge here's a third case for you let's go case number three let's imagine at this time you're a doctor uh and i don't think that you will ever become a doctor because if you wanted to become a doctor you will be studying your shit anyway let's imagine for a while that you're a doctor and you're in a hospital and then you see that there are five patients and you find out is that all of these patients have been wrecked by a trolley and all of these patients are actually missing organs of their body parts which are necessary for them to stay alive but all the organs that they are missing are different ones in order to save all these people you need organs and they are really rare at the time you cannot find them anywhere but then you remember that there's a nurse that is really annoying and you don't like her and she's a little bit old she don't have much friends and she's sleeping in the other room and then a thought hits your mind and you're like what if i kill that person and i save those five people will you do that or not so when this case was given to the people almost everyone said that they will not do the thing but if you are a person who is saying that yes i would still kill that one person then trust me you need a treatment because that is something we shouldn't do anyway now i'm going to give you my philosophy of morality and why did i chose to not to press the switch at the very start before before I give you my answers, I want to tell you two philosophical concepts. The first concept is the double effect principle. According to that principle, what matters the most is your intention of the action. As long as your intention is to save five people and your intention is not to kill one person, then that action that you will do is justified, even if that means that it will kill five people. And then there is something else which is called dentologist. According to that principle, the intent of the action and the consequences, both of these things are intrinsically linked with each other, that there are some moral core that should never be broken but anyway now what do i think so i'm not a person who read a lot of philosophical books and i didn't even know about the trolley problem i was kind of a person who liked to put people in this kind of situation and see what they would answer and i will do the same thing with myself and i asked myself these kind of questions a lot and my decision always has been is that i will never kill one person in order to save five six other people and my reasoning was based on the idea of justice not the justice that exists in legal and illegal because sometimes illegal can be wrong unjust unfair unequal so it's not about legal and illegal or a judiciary system or the state it's more about the justice in the nature the man 
Flash. So for example, in the first case, what would have happened is that those five people would have died no matter what, if no one would have seen them or no one have tried to change anything about them. And the one person who was working on another railway track, he would have stayed alive and the fat person would also have stayed alive. So if someone goes and they do an action that result in the death of someone, then what you did is basically murdered someone in order to save some people. So yeah, your action actually saved five people, but in order to save those people, you actually murdered someone and that is unjust. Now, obviously, a lot of people would say that the idea of justice is a subjective but what i would say is that the history that i read is that the more back we go the more unjust we become there was a time where, where we justified rape where we justified wars where we justified slavery and with the passage of time we became more and more and more just people obviously it will get very much complicated but that's what i think for now now obviously someone can come to me and they can give me a very difficult situation for example uh, in the first case what if there is one person on one side and one million people on the other side and not just one million let's go one billion or let's even go further than that, that and let's say that the whole humanity is on the other side what will i do on that situation i will see what can i do and i will negotiate with people that if i save you what will you give me i'm joking but i would like to say that i will not press the switch and i will keep the one person alive especially if it's a lady and that's another joke but i think on a practical ground i will actually press a switch but me pressing the switch i will not consider that as a just action i will consider it a necessary unjust action that was necessary for humans to exist so that will be an unjust sacrifice that i will give so this is not something that i will celebrate but for me even if i will do that action i will consider my action as a wrong action but a necessary one so that is my philosophy of morality and now let's talk about how all this is related to technology so we know that everything is becoming smarter and smarter except you okay <laughs> I am very sleepy. So now we have driverless cars where the car drive themselves automatically. So now let's imagine a situation that you're sleeping in your car and the car is driving on its own. And then it's faced with a situation in which there are different species in front of the car. The first person is your ex. The second one is your boss. The third one is a person who had been in the war. And the fourth one is a pregnant lady. Now the car needs to make a decision that which person it should hit because it needs to hit one person. Now let's imagine another situation. And in that situation, if the car takes the turn, you will stay alive. But there is a 90% chance that two kids will die what the car should do the same thing goes with the drones let's imagine that there's a high value target that is your ex and the drone can just shoot and kill that person but there's a 60 percent chance that some civilians will die also and what about ai robots if we will ever have them tomorrow i would definitely not pull the lever so that is where all these questions about philosophy psychology are relevant for the technology because these are the things that need to be coded in all those devices because we humans are incapable of making decisions like that but machines are machines can make decisions just like that but first we need to code those things and that is where philosophers psychologists are working with engineers in order to code all those things in ai technology so all these questions are becoming much 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 more important in today's world <sighs> that's it take care of yourself allah hafiz adios